welcome home. All right, so it seems like Bethesda is actually listening when it comes to Creation Club. And it's actually pretty interesting what's been going on here. And I wanted to share it with you guys because this is actually some good news. It means Bethesda is listening. They're trying to give us the best Creation Club that they possibly can. I wanna share that with you guys. So initially when we first got to see Creation Club in action, that was at Bethesda's E3 conference. And we got a small little trailer that showed us little snippets of Creation Club. Now, during one of these snippets, we saw the price tag of Skyrim Special Edition's survival mode, and it was priced at 500 CC credits. Now, the reason why this is uh, this means anything is because when Creation Club came out in beta, it was then priced at 800 credits, 200 extra credits more than what we saw at B3. But that's not the worst part. It was priced 50 credits more than the lowest tier. So instead of having to spend $8, you would have to spend $15. However, Bethesda on the full release of Creation Club has set the price back to 500 credits. Now, this didn't take away 800 credits from anyone. You don't got to worry about that. Survival mode is free currently. It's on discount for free. It was on discount for free in the beta, and it's going to be on discount until I believe October 10th. So make sure you get the Creation Club survival mode before then if you want it. Now, what I wanna be taking a look at here in this video is I personally believe that Bethesda has already learned a better pricing range for some of the creations on Creation Club moving from Fallout 4 to Skyrim Special Edition. And I wanna share that with you guys here. This is excluding some of the newer items for Creation Club, like the handmade shotgun. That's priced pretty well, that's $2. Now that's not as cheap as some people would like it to be, but this is not a perfect world. Trust me, I'm not fully supporting Creation Club. That's not what's going on here. There are a lot of things I often hate about Creation Club and it's still not being done in the way that I want it to be done, but it's it's getting better. Beth is just trying, they're trying to listen. So, featured right now, you can see the Doom BFG is 400 credits. We've got the Prototype Gauze Rifle, 400 credits. Now, keep in mind, these are all individual weapons all by themselves. It doesn't include anything extra. It's just one individual weapon. And that's the key thing I want you to note here is they're pricing individual weapons at about 400. Of course, besides the handmade shock. Now, if we take a look at apparel, you can see that they're pricing everything at 400 credits or more. <laughs> We've got the Hellfire Power Armor at 500 credits for one individual armor. So let's go ahead and move on here. We can see Modular Military Backpack. Now, this is a pack of 30 different add-on pieces. At least it's giving you more than just one item. And then Morgan Spacesuit, which got I got for free. I don't remember how much it is. I believe it's like 400 or something like that. And then we have all these silly paint jobs for 50 credits. You can get two of these with the free credits that you get. But honestly, the fact that these even exist kind of annoy me. But uh, <laughs> whatever. And then we get these paint jobs, which are even more ridiculous to me, which are 100 credits each. So a dollar per reskin. World, we've got a modern furniture workshop pack, which is actually a th the most reasonable price thing that came out with Follow Force Creation Club. So if workshop is something that you love doing, this might be worth it to you. So that is everything that we have for Follow Force. Let's go ahead and quickly alt tab into Skyrim Special Edition and take a look at what they have available on there. Arcane accessories add robes that grant spell casting bonuses, but it also adds things like ancient tombs. It's basically a pack of items that make the mages more effective. So this also adds a quest and they also appear in containers. So it's added to the level list. And this is only a hundred credits. So if you're a mage and you like this kind of thing, this could be worth it. It's only a dollar. So right off the bat, we're already getting something for a dollar that might be worth it to some people. And then we've got the Arcane Archer Pack, which is something I thought actually looked pretty interesting, which is $1.50. And essentially it adds a magical advantage with Archer equipment. And then we've got the Chrysomir, which is a 300 credit item, which is $3. Now it is just a individual sword. So $3 for an individual sword, that's totally up to you whether that's worth it. And then we've got Divine Crusader. And you might be looking at the 500 credit and being like, yeah, that's that's higher price than the 400 that we were seeing in the 500 for Fallout 4. But the thing about this is it's not just an individual armor 
like for Fallout 4. It's two different armors, and it also has two different weapons as well. So essentially, you're getting four times the amount of content than what we were seeing for Fallout 4 for the same price. And then Rune's Edge, which is 400, yes, Again, it's it's another 400 weapon. For just $2.50, Staff of Shielgarath. These weapons are getting closer to where they should be in pricing. And I would say $2.50 for a weapon that is actually pretty interesting is a lot better than having to spend 400 on an individual weapon. What I'm trying to say in this video is not oh, everything is totally okay. I think everyone should spend $2 on a weapon to add it to their game. That's not what I'm saying at all. I think that would be absolutely ridiculous if everyone did that. If it's something that you're not interested in, please do not touch Creation Club. But they are making positive changes to Creation Club. They're lowering the prices, what it seems like, from Fallout 4. And they're also listening to criticism of them trying to increase the price of survival mode. So then they decrease it back to 500. Don't think they should have made that change in the first place. It was a little scummy, but hey, at least, at least survival mode is down to the 500. So anyways, moving on to the last mod that I want to cover, and that is Plague of the Dead. This is just a really small zombie-like mod that also has a quest link to it. It essentially just spawns these terrifying zombies at night in hordes. I think it would be absolutely terrifying, and it's $4. So it's it's the same price. It's essentially a feature. It adds new creatures, and it's $4. So it's the price of an individual weapon or armor on Fallout 4. So I would say I would much rather get Plague of the Dead than an individual weapon on Fallout 4. That's just my personal opinion. I would rather get something that adds upon the gameplay and adds more creatures that I can kill than get a weapon that is overpowered and is gonna make the game super easy. That's just my personal opinion. Not that I'm actually going to get any of this, but that would be my preferred option. Let me know your thoughts on Creation Club down in the comments below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. I might cover survival mode, show you guys a little bit more into depth of what it's like. Might also do a comparison video of Frostfall and I Need versus survival mode and see what that's like. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Today.